The 9-11 Firehouse. 2.30 p.m. Ten House's Dan Potter can't take it any longer. He asks his captain for permission to find his wife, Jean. She'd gone to work that morning on the 81st floor of the North Tower. Dan prays she has escaped and gone to their home in Battery Park City. I don't have any keys on me because I just quickly changed and left everything in my locker. I was knocking on the apartment door, and with each knock, you know, I expected her to open that door up. And um, I just remember knocking and knocking and uh, banging on the door, and that's when I just became overwhelmed. I said, she didn't make it out of there. I couldn't just stay there, but that's when I came down and I, I sat on the bench. I said to myself, she's dead. I sit down and sit and I cried. But Dan gets up again and goes through the locked door the way a firefighter would. Just as I force the door open, the phone rings. I pick it up, it's my father, and he's crying on the other end of the phone. So I said, Dad, I said, I'm okay. I said, okay, but I, I can't find Jean. I don't, don't know where Jean is. He goes, I, I know where she is. He says, she's at the Chinatown Firehouse. After surviving the South Tower collapse, Jean Potter had wandered the streets until she was told to wait for Dan at the Chinatown Firehouse, five blocks from Ground Zero. I said, you got a beautiful redhead in here to one of the guys, and there were other companies coming in, so I just happened to catch the right guy that knew where, where Jean was. And he says, she's right inside here in the television room. And that's when I, when I opened up the door, I just saw her standing there. We hugged, we were two misses hugging one another. I mean, what a blessing we were given. You know, but our hearts break for so many.